I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT in Google Sheet. It's going to look like this. You enter a formula, you put in a prompt, you press enter, and you get the result shortly. You can just do it like this, drag it down, and you will get three random names like this. So without further ado, let me show you the step-by-step -step process on how to create this custom GPT function on Google Sheet. First, you need to go to Google Sheet. Once you're on Google Sheet, click on Extensions and click App Scripts. Now that App Script is loaded, change the project name. Let me just call this how to use ChatGPT in Google Sheet. The very first thing that we need to do is to modify the default function. I need to change it to an async function. As for the function name, let's rename it and call it GPT. This function will take in uh, one argument and let me just call this prompt. So now that we have the basic structure, we'll start to fill up the internal details of this function. The very first thing that we need is the payload. So this will be the payload that we will use to send over to the uh, chat completion endpoint provided by OpenAI. So for this payload, this is how it looks like. It, it needs to have a model and it also needs to have a messages, which is an array of message. Now, for the model that I will be using, it will be GPT 3.5 Turbo. As for the messages, I just need to specify one message within it. And for each message, it needs a role and a content of that message. For the role, I'm going to use system. For the content of this message, I will use the prompt. Once I have the payload, the next thing I need to do is to send the payload over to uh, OpenAI's endpoint. To do that, I will use URL fetch app dot fetch. The very first argument I need to give is the URL. So what is this URL? So for this URL, let me just paste it over here. Let me call this endpoint. This will be the URL HTTPS uh, API.openai.com v1 forward slash chat completions. So this is the endpoint that we are using. Copy the endpoint and paste it into this uh, fetch function as the first argument. As for the params, it is an object. Within this object, we need to specify the method. The uh, we need to specify the method, the content type, and the headers, and of course the payload. I'm just going to leave everything blank for now. So this is like the structure that we that we need to send. For this request, it is a post request. So under method, put post. For content type, it is application uh, JSON because we are sending a JSON over. As for the headers, you need to include content type, application JSON, and within the header, we need the authorization as well. Authorization, and we need to include the bearer tokens. As for this string, I'll use the double backtick and type bearer dollar sign bracket and I'll need to include the uh, token within here. So what exactly is the token? So right now we don't have the token over here so we'll need to get it uh, from OpenAI platform. Okay, So let me just type uh, OpenAI uh, API key. So right now OpenAI API key is empty. We'll need to retrieve it. To retrieve it, we will need to go to platform.openai.com uh, Once you're logged in with your account, you will need to navigate to API keys. Okay, Navigate to API keys. You'll see there's an option to create new secret key. Click on it. Uh, you can give it any name. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to call it demo. How to use chat GPT in Google Sheet. Create a secret key. Now, this is the API key. You copy it. Make sure you store this securely and don't let anyone else know about this key. All right. So this is a very sensitive key. Copy it and paste it here. Okay. Now your open AI API key is filled. Copy this and paste it as a token here. 
So now your barrier token is complete. For the last one, which is a payload, we need to use JSON stringify method to stringify our payload. Okay. Now, the next thing that we need to do is to await for the response. Once we have received the response, we will need to extract the data from the response object. And to do that, we will need to call response res dot get content text. This is just a way for us to get the uh, string content from the response. Because it's a string, we'll need to convert it to a JSON so that we can access the choices. Make sure that you're accessing the uh, first index of that choices and access the message and access the content. Once you're done, return the data. Save it. Okay, you can click this to save. Now, we need to test to make sure that everything is working fine. To do that, we'll need to print our data. Okay, so we'll need to print our data somehow. Uh, let's see how we can do this. Uh, normally, I, like, I just like to do it like this. Console.log. Let's call this data. As for the second argument, I'm going to use JSON. Stringify the data. As for the prompt, actually, I will... Mm, let's see how am I supposed to do this. Okay, I'm just going to give it a temporary uh, default value for the prompt first. Let's say, give me three names for my doc. All right. Once I'm done, click save. Once you click run, you should be able to see some console log being uh, pushed out. Oh, I need to review the permission first. So I need to grant some uh, permissions. Click review permissions and click on your account. If you see this page, don't worry too much. Just click advance. And all the way down, there is this option to go to this uh, Google Sheets. Even though it's unsafe, just click on it. It's fine. You see this page, click allow. Just wait for a moment. All right. So you can see that we have received a successful response from OpenAI. So this means that this function is actually uh, working properly. So now that we know that it's working properly, let me remove this uh, temporary uh, default uh, prompt from here. And I will remove the console log just to keep everything clean. Once I'm done, just save it. For those who are still struggling to make it work, you can download the code example. I provided the download link in the description below. Now that we have this GPT function, how are we going to use it in Google Sheet? To use it in Google Sheet is really, really simple. All we have to do is to go back to Google Sheet. Uh, let's say we type in a prompt over here. Uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, maybe what is 3 plus 3? Okay. Uh, let me just give this second column, I call it result. To use a function, just use it like how you normally use other functions. E just use equals GPT. Okay. Make sure that you're following, if it's uppercase, make sure it's uppercase. Give it some details and press enter and wait. Give it a moment. Okay. So you can see that the result has been returned. So let, let us test again. Uh, give me 10, uh, maybe three random uh, names. In this case, I can just drag it like this. All right, I have three random names. So that's how you can use ChatGPT in Google Sheet. If you'd like to see more of such video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. It's going to really help this channel grow. I'll see you in the next video.